Now I want to I want to talk about Oumuamua because it was quite controversial. You know, there are people out there that are stating that it was just a, a piece of um, ice maybe from Pluto or, you know, that there's a few different um, theories out there. And you've come in and basically said, well, hang on, I think this is, you know, this is maybe not natural. So I would love to know what instigated that for you that made you think, hang on a second, this particular football field sized object requires more investigation. Right. So I approached it uh, uh, just like all other astronomers to start with. Uh, in fact, I wrote a paper a decade earlier forecasting how many rocks from other stars should we see coming from interstellar space based on what we know in the solar system. And we predicted that this telescope in Hawaii, that was the first survey telescope of the sky that could have found such rocks, uh, would not find anything. And then uh, it reported by chance uh, about uh, the first object uh, in uh, October 19th, 2017, uh, given the name Oumuamua, which means a scout in the Hawaiian language, uh, roughly the size of a football field, simply because it came close to Earth. Uh, and this um, survey was intended to look for near-Earth objects. Uh, now, that was a surprise to me because it implied that there are many more interstellar objects than we expect based on what we know about the solar system, which still holds. Uh, you know, it was really unusual that we found it. Uh, but then uh, I still thought maybe it's a rock. Uh, and as time went on, more and more peculiar uh, properties of this object showed up. Uh, for example, as it was tumbling every eight hours, the amount of sunlight reflected from it changed by a factor of 10. And that uh, meant that it has a very extreme shape. Uh, the analysis of the reflected light over time uh, implied that it has a pancake-like shape, a flat geometry, which is very unusual for a rock. Um, and then uh, uh, there was no cometary tail. It didn't look like a comet. Uh, usually and, uh, when a rock is covered with ice, the ice evaporates when it comes close to the sun and you get a, a nice uh, cometary tail around it. There was nothing like it. Uh, and in fact, the Spitzer Space Telescope looked very deeply and couldn't find any traces of dust or carbon-based molecules that evaporated from the object. So it was definitely not a, a comet. Uh, 